Hello everyone, this is Kip Forest. In this video, we'll talk about the new FX rack that was created by our team. During the development of Vikings, our task is to design the most innovative, flexible and user-friendly FX rack based on the possibilities of the KSP development tools. The FX rack was designed to give users the ability to combine on available effects in any sequence and with any settings, providing the ability to create absolutely unique effect chains. Our team created from scratch 4 LFO modulations and 4 sequences, which can be applied to almost all available controllers in your effect chain. We also created a flexible system of presets, which makes it possible to save, lot, sort groups and categories of both local and global presets. Let's take a closer look. Before us is an 8 slot FX rack, in which not a single effect is currently loaded. Firstly, you can select any available effects from this menu for any slot. Let's load several effects at once to two or three slots. You can change the order of the loaded effects, thereby experimenting with different combinations of effect chains. In order to change the selected effect to another one or to free the required slot, use the icon on the left, which shows that the effect is currently loaded. Special attention should be paid to delay and reverb, which, although working separately, are never led in one bundle, due to the fact that they are related to sound effects. By loading these effects into FX Rack, you actually select where in your circuit you send the signal to the send effects. We want to draw attention to an important feature of our FX racks. You can add modulations or sequences to almost any control of any effects loaded into the engine. There are four groups of LFO settings and four groups of sequences available. Let's see how this works.
Let's load the sequence to one of the controllers. Finally, in our FX rack, there is a convenient system of presets. We will try to save the result as a user preset. Add new collection. In the new collection, we add a new group. Let's name it Pools Presets. Finally, save our user preset. Done. Let's try to load it.